everyone, it's Paige. I know it's been a while, but I finally have a book haul for you guys and I just need to go over some housekeeping things first that might um, be of excitement to you, so let's just jump right into this. So first things first in the housekeeping news, I finally graduated early. I know, it's crazy to think that I'm done with um, four years of being at my university, but I finished and I finished early and I'm saving my parents a bunch of money. Um, so yeah, that's great. That being said, I graduated with distinction in my major because I finished my thesis. I know, finally, um, I've been talking about it forever and I've been making videos about it and if you follow me on Twitter and Tumblr and Instagram, um, I've been talking about it there for ages. So I finally finished. It's all done. It's 60 pages, I think, with the title page and like the citations at the end. So it's pretty hefty because they only wanted me to write 40 pages, but I was like, I have way more to say, so it's finally done. Um, if you want to read it, which I know a lot of people have been asking about, and I've kind of already talked about this on Twitter and Tumblr, but if you want to read it, it's up online, it's in my pinned tweets, in my Twitter, so you can go there for the link. Uh, the only thing I would recommend is reading through the entire thread I have there on Twitter, just because it kind of talks about, like, the disclaimer for reading it, and there's, um, a lot of information about, like, trigger warnings and stuff like that before jumping in, so it's really to your benefit to read it. Like, obviously I'm not going to know if you read it or not, but, um, it would, I would really appreciate it if you took the time to read it. And reading the thesis itself, which I know is a lot of pages and reading, but there's, like, fun stuff in there. I kind of shout out some of the fans and stuff and, um, in, like, subtle ways, but yeah, definitely something if you read um, A Court of Thorn Roses and you hate it or you love it, it's definitely something to check out and just see, like, a different perspective of the series, like, from an academic standpoint, so. Um, and I also am accepting of criticism and just, like, different viewpoints on things. I've already talked to some people about it and they've been really awesome. Um, you can send me an email or send me an ask message on Tumblr, DM me on Twitter. Uh, all the information's on the page itself. Like I said, just go to my Twitter, look at the pinned tweet, and all the information is there. So the second housekeeping thing is um, another reason why I kind of haven't been around much, and that's because after I was done in March with school, I came home for two weeks, and then I went off to London for two and a half weeks. So I was um, there for the first two and a half weeks of April, just kind of exploring the city and, like, doing my Beatles shindig and everything, so... Um, that was a lot of fun, and I'm going to have a huge, huge post on uh, my blog eventually as soon as I write it and take the time to upload all my photos and everything, and I have um, some, like, videos and stuff, but if you want to look at some of my pictures, you can already check out my Instagram, obviously. I posted some stuff on Twitter. Um, I'll leave a link to my personal Tumblr below, which has a lot more photos um, than anywhere else that I posted, so you can check those out, too. Um... But yeah, it, I love London. I now, like, want to live there, so it's it's a great city. Like, if you have the opportunity to go, I would definitely say go. Um, but yeah, that's kind of why I've been missing. Um, so, But I'm back now, and I'm ready to, like, jump back into reading and blogging and hopefully vlogging some stuff, too, because there's a lot of events coming up and some stuff that I already went to. Obviously, that's what this video is about. So... Yeah, just a lot of excitement and a lot of stuff kind of all hitting me at once. So now let's jump into the book haul, why you really came. So this past weekend, I went to the LA Times Festival of Books with my sister. Shout out to my sister for standing in long, hot lines with me. I know that was probably not fun. But anyway, so we we took the LA Times Book Festival of Books by storm. We went Saturday and Sunday. We were originally only going to go one day, but we had so much fun the first day. We were like, no, we have to go back the second day. So we went, um, we went and talked to a lot of authors. I got a ton of books signed that I'm not gonna, um, show in this video just because I think that would be kind of boring, and I have a link down below for a picture of all the ones I got signed, so you can check it out there. But thank you to all the authors that showed up. You were awesome. It was great talking to all of you. Um, really, I can't thank authors enough for doing what they do, so thank you. I have to thank Chuck Palahniuk for supplying the hands, um... Yeah, they're super creepy, but he signed all of them, and he handed them out during his talk, um, and I've named mine Henry VIII because nobody likes him and wants him around, apparently. <clears throat> Allie. But, um, yeah, so 
Uh, I've just been putting him on my bookshelf, and I think he's going to make some subtle appearances into some of my bookstagram pictures, but yeah, this was really cool. It was a fun little, like, swag item, so if you're into that kind of thing, I guess. <laughs> There's a pretty big stack that I have over here that you can't see, so let's jump right in. So I had gotten an email from First in Line before the book festival to come by the booth so that you could pick up an arc of your choice. Um, so I got Genuine Fraud by E. Lockhart. I had heard about this before, I think because Penguin had emailed me about it, and I was really excited about it. Um, so I knew that I had to go get that. This comes out in September, so it's a little while. But I haven't read E. Lockhart, I think, since, um, The Boyfriend List, which I read, I think, in, like, middle school. So it's been a while since I've read anything by her, but I'm pretty excited about this. I really like the cover, and it's one of those, like, soft um, arcs too, so I hope, like, maybe the hardcover will be silky as well, but yeah, super cool, thank you First in Line and Penguin and Random House and all you guys for that, that was really cool, um, and a really fun thing to get from you guys, thanks. My sister also got a book there, um, I actually already have this arc because I had gotten it previously before the festival, but that's Windfall by Jennifer E. Smith, um, if you're not familiar with Jennifer E. Smith, she wrote, like, the statistical probability of love at first sight, this is what happy looks like, um, everything, oh, hello, goodbye, and everything in between. So she's written, like, quite a few. And I love her work, um, so I was super excited to find out that she had an arc. Um, but I had my sister pick this up so I could do a giveaway for it for you guys, so that'll probably be happening eventually since this comes out in May. But yeah, this is, um, I guess about the lottery, and I really like the cover, it's super cute, so... And Jennifer E. Smith has never failed me, so I'm really excited to jump into this one. The second day of the festival, Hearst in Line had just, like, piles of arcs sitting in front of their booth, so I was like, um, yes, I'm getting one of those. So one of them was One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McCannis. I'm probably saying that wrong. But this one comes out on May 30th, and I have no idea what it's about, so I'm hoping that I'll be excited for this. I'm sure I will, but this was super cool for them to be handing out, so thank you very much, First in Line, Penguin, Random House, all you guys. That was pretty awesome. And then the other book that they were handing out was Little Monsters by Kara Thomas. Apparently, she also wrote The Darkest Corners, which I've seen the cover of, but I've never read. Um, yeah, but I really like this cover, um, and this one comes out in July, so it's a little bit later release, so I'll probably pick this up some other time after I get through some of my May releases that I really need to get on, but yeah, thank you! Penguin was handing out books all day at their Young Readers booth, and I accidentally missed one of the arc drops because I had gone to this signing. I think it was the Chuck Palahniuk one, and it was taking forever. So Allie um, was kind enough, I'll link her down below because she's awesome and I met her there and everything and she was great. Hi Allie! And she's going to be at uh, Y'all West next week, so yeah, that's super cool. But anyway, she picked up um, The One Memory of Flora Banks for Me by Emily Barr because I wasn't able to get it myself and I just love this cover. It's so shimmery. Um, I don't know a lot about this either. All the back says is, it's not a lie if you can't remember the truth. Ooh, spooky. Um, but this comes out in May. I'm not exactly sure when, because like I said, I don't know anything about this. But yeah, very excited just based on the cover alone, because it's, ooh, shimmery. <laughs> Another book that I got from Penguin Young Readers, Random House. I never know what the division name is. Anyway, they were handing out copies of Spellbook of the Lost and Found by... Oh, I am going to butcher this name, Moira Fowley Doyle. She wrote The Accident Season, which I haven't read. Um, this one comes out in August, so again, it's a little bit later release um, that I'll have time to finally get to. But again, I have no idea what it's about. Um, but the cover is pretty stunning, so I like that. Um, and it's pretty thick, too, so yeah, pretty excited for this. Another very exciting arc that they were handing out, and something that my sister really wanted to pick up too because she is a huge fan of Sarah Dessen, is Sarah Dessen's new book, Once and for All. And this one comes out in June, so it's going to be a very cute summer release, I think. I really like this cover. I like the color scheme here. Um, but I've heard pretty good things about this, I think, so far. I actually don't really hear much bad things about um, Sarah Dessen's work, so um, I haven't read anything by Sarah Dessen, I think. God, probably since middle school or high school, so it's been a long time. So I'm kind of excited to pick up something by her again since it's been so long. Um, and this seems really cute too. I think it's about like set during like wedding planning or something like that. So 
probably best to just go look at the um, synopsis on Goodreads because I, I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> And then the last one that we got from Penguin, which I was so excited about, is War Cross by Marie Lu. Um, she also signed them all for us, so that was super sweet of her. Um, yeah, I had heard, I think Penguin emailed us the cover reveal for this, and I was like, oh my gosh, Marie Lu. Even though I haven't read anything by her, I'm very excited for this book. So um, this one comes out in September, another one that's going to be a while, so in the fall. Um, but I'm very excited to jump in. I've heard like pretty much only good things about Marie Lou's work. Um, so yeah, that's that was super awesome then. Thank you, Penguin. Um, you were a very awesome booth to hang out in anyway. Like we picked up a bunch of swag and samplers and stuff that I'll probably be giving away. We got some totes. Like they were just awesome. So thank you very much. So the last arc that I got was uh, I Believe in a Thing Called Love by Maureen Gu. She was there signing copies of her other book, which I don't know the name of, but she had copies of these and was giving them out. Um, and this one comes out in May, so she was kind enough to sign this one for us too, and I picked up a copy for Allie because I knew she wanted one. So that was awesome. Um, yeah, so thank you, Maureen. Um, that was very nice of you, and I cannot wait to jump into this one because it sounds so cool, and I love this cover, and I'm just... Ah, I'm so excited, so thank you. At the end of the day on Sunday, we were walking out of the festival, and First in Line was handing out their display copies for free, so we ran over and grabbed Reawakened by Colleen Hook, Hook? Um, which I just love this cover, but that was super sweet of them to be handing these out, and then they also gave out Blood Rose Rebellion by Rosalind Eves, Eves? Um, and I think this one just came out, right? I don't know why I'm expecting a response, because you're sitting behind a computer. Anyway, so yeah, that was super cool of them to hand these out. Um, I'm going to probably keep the stickers on these, because that's really cool. But yeah, thank you, First in Line. And then we also got, like, boatloads of swag, as you can tell, and I'll probably be doing some sort of giveaway. Um, we got pins, we got samplers, we got more samplers um tattoos like just tons of stuff bookmarks so yeah that's all that stuff. and then we also got <laughs> um free tote bags from penguin like i said earlier because if you weren't signed up for their newsletter you could get signed up and get a free tote bag so that's the back and then um the other side is just a quote from marie Lou's the young elites which i haven't read yet um <laughs> but yeah these are really awesome and i really like this side because it's like very bookstagram worthy. So that was very nice of them and I just wanted to thank all of the publishers, authors, USC, the LA Times for even putting on the event. Um, we had a blast. I can't wait to go again next year. It had been a while since I had been there so it was really a lot of fun. So thank you and thank you for sticking around for the video. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this book haul and hopefully I will see you again soon. <laughs> Bye! Um, and it is, uh, no, I'm gonna start over. Um, in, back in, well, I haven't gone to this, oh, I don't know. I feel like, no, I need to start this over.